Picture TV. My name is Titi Laya Delayo and I'll be walking you to how to make shortbread cookies. Now shortbread cookies are traditional cookies and I think most people have tried it. Um, I bet you have. So today I'm just going to walk you to how to make it. It's pretty simple. There are very few ingredients and um, it's very versatile. It's a very versatile cookie because you can make it into um, color into any shape and it's pretty much going to keep the shape while it bakes. So Unlike sugar cookies that melts about a bit and rounds off the edges or whatever, uh, shortbread cookies are very good about keeping their shapes and decorating them with such a breeze, so easy. So now I'm going to walk you through the ingredients. Like I said, there are a few ingredients. First, we need butter. Um, I'm using break stones. Um, I normally use um, another brand, but this works. Sticks of butter. You need uh, two sticks of butter for this um, recipe. Now, you could double the recipe or, you know, cut the recipe down to one stick of butter, one cup of flour. So, two sticks of butter will be one cup of butter, and then that will be two cups of flour. So, think about it in sticks. If you have sticks where uh, sticks of butter where you live, it's one stick of butter to one cup of flour. It's pretty simple. So, two sticks of butter two cups of flour, all-purpose flour, not bread flour, or self-rising, all the, all the other types, all-purpose flour. I have exactly two cups over here. And over here, I have some salt. Now, you don't need that much salt. I just put it so you can see um, the quantity, um, that it's salt, basically. I'm just gonna need a pinch of salt. This is optional. It just, salt helps to kick up the taste a little bit. So salt, optional. And we're gonna need vanilla extract. I'm gonna be using a quarter tablespoon of vanilla extract just for flavor, um, nothing much. And now I'm gonna talk to you about this. This is confectioner sugar or caster, uh, not caster sugar, confectioner or icing sugar um, is what this is. The reason why I use this is it has cornstarch in it and cornstarch helps the mixture. Um, you could use regular sugar my recipes for Christmas, um, all the cookies I made for Christmas, um, I use regular sugar. So you could definitely use regular sugar. Um, the truth is I'm trying this for the first time, so we're trying it together. So let's hope it works. Um, and that's it. I'm going to need some parchment paper. I don't need this wick because I'm using my hand mixer. You could use a stand mixer um, like mine. Um, if you're doing a big batch like I do, but... For a small batch, hand mixer, parchment paper, lined um, baking pan, and gloves. I have a box of gloves, so I use gloves for everything, just because it's just less messy. Um, so that's it. So now let's get started. I'm going to walk you through this. Like I said, it's very few ingredients. Butter, sugar, flour, and vanilla extract. That's basically all you need. So I'm going to put the butter... Mouth. and more butter uh, the butter is at room temperature it helps for it to be at room temperature because it's the creaming process is easy now I have measured here uh, half a cup of sugar half a cup of the confectioner sugar um, not more than that shortbread cookies are not supposed to be too sweet so half a cup will work I'm just going to pour that right into it and we're going to cream this together at low speed. That's a little bit hard. All right, I'm just going to work it together a little bit first so that it doesn't go, like, sprain my whole thing. So we're going to cream this together and just make sure you grab all the confection of sugar. If you're using regular sugar, I think it works better. Like I said, I'm trying this with you for the first time, but I can bet it tastes the same. It just has a better texture. The confection of sugar does. So if you have sugar at home, let's use sugar. All right, there you go. You don't want to over mix it. Shortbread cookies. You need it to be nice and delicate. So like I said, I have two cups of flour here. I'm going to pour that in there. And oops. Now, I missed a step, so I'm just going to tell you what I missed. My pinch of salt, optional, see? You can't barely even see what I'm about to put in it. So a pinch of salt and quarter tablespoon, quarter teaspoon, not tablespoon, quarter teaspoon, oops, 
or vanilla extract. It's okay if it's too much. It's never too much vanilla anyway. I think so. Alright, so I'm gonna mix it in already. Added some flour. That's alright. So add in all the flour. Now the thing about shortbread cookies is I mean I've shared the recipe with a few people and they always say um it's not coming together or I think I need some water or maybe I should add something else to it. You don't need to add anything to shortbread cookies. Trust me, it's going to come together. It's a little bit crumbly um, when you're done. So I use my hand to like mold it together. So I'm just going to cream this a little bit with my mixer and see where it goes. It's like going everywhere. All right. My mixer has done its job. Now I'm going to just mold the rest with my hands. And I'm going to wear my gloves. If you don't have gloves, that's fine. Just use your hands. I just try to eliminate the mess. Because I make this in huge batches. So for me, using the glove is just better. It's easier. And it, gloves are cheap. The whole box was about $2.99 online. So you just like work it together like any other dough. And it starts to come together because this is really a butter cookie. So as you can see, if you can see that. It's somewhat crumbly, but it does come together. The other thing we're going to do is once I get it to come together very well, we're going to put it in the fridge for about five minutes or ten. I do five because I'm always in a hurry. And so you put it in the fridge just so that everything comes together. Now, if you're in a hurry, which sometimes I am, I roll it out just like this and cut my shapes out. And the only part that you have to do is to pop it in the freezer or the fridge for about 10 minutes once the shapes are cut so that it holds that shape while when you put it in the oven it starts to bake gradually at low temperature and that way it's going to keep its shape the butter doesn't melt everywhere so here we go my bowl is clean up a dough and there's no liquid in it so don't be tempted at all to add water or any other liquid it's gonna form a dough just like that and so I'm gonna put in this fridge in the fridge for a little bit I'll join you right back and we're gonna get ready to roll it out cut it out and put it in the oven so now we're back um, and I have had my dough in the fridge for about five to ten minutes it wasn't up to ten minutes but this is what it looks like now it has come together it's pretty cold so it's gonna be easy to roll out now I just have a few things here my rolling pin and a mat um this mat it's like a chopping board or whatever I got it from the dollar store I just like to roll on it instead of right on the counter um you can also roll on your counter just keep it clean wash it down and um, roll on it so I'm gonna roll this we need a little bit of flour not too much just so it doesn't stick. I press down a little. Now, shortbread cookies, some people make them uh, like, how do I say, flat? And um, just like flat, I think flat is the best word. I, I think shortbread cookies are thicker, they're not flat. So I try not to make it flat. You could just, I think you could mold it with your hand. You might not need to use a rolling pin just press it down roll it out a little bit more you don't want it to be too flat flat i don't think chubber cookies to be should be flat that's just me except of course you're making chubber cookies with jam in the middle and that's a totally different story entirely you um it's the same dose the same process you just bake two layers and pop the hole in one of them the top part um it's valentine's day is coming up so you can make hot shapes on the top and then leave the bottom one as is and then just put jam in the middle and close it up and that way it's like a sandwich cookie so it still gets the thickness but i just feel like if you're not doing that then you should make your shortbread cookies thick just preference okay so here we go um, like I said, Valentine's Day is coming up, so I'm using a hot chip cookie. I got this from um, 
from a local um, cake store. So I walked in there, I was like, I wanted to patronize them and get something. So I got this really nice heart-shaped um, cookie cutter. It's really pretty. You can get this online or at any craft store. All right, so I'm just gonna, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna cut out heart shapes here. And just push it down, just like so. See, it's pretty pretty. And I'm gonna put that on a parchment paper and just going to keep cutting, turn this upside down to the last waste stage. And just pop it down and turn it more. So, just like so. It's really pretty. Your guests are going to love this. And like I did for Christmas, which you could do. Is to make a whole bunch of this. As you can see, the ingredients are really few and the cookie is easy to make. So you can make a whole bunch of this and give it out as um, Valentine's Day gifts. You know, something like that. It'd be really cool. I think a lot of people will appreciate it. And I did that for Christmas. I sent it out to all, a bunch of my friends and family in little cans. And it was real pretty. And so just keep cutting up the shapes. And I mean, if you have a bake sale coming up, this is a good idea. I think shortbread cookies takes a lot of people back to their childhood. <laughs> it at least it does for me. Just what it is. Um, almost there. It's really just gonna fill this pan perfectly. Oops. Isn't it weird when you know there's just enough to cut, like, one more and it doesn't fit? Um, gotta make it work. The other thing about shortbread cookies, you don't want to roll it too many times. I mean, what's left over. Because you don't want a dense cookie. Oops. I'm gonna make it work. Yeah. I got an extra slice. Oop, an extra cut. Oh. And there's no place to put it on the parchment paper. There we go. Now, like I said, they don't um, rise too much um, in shape. So that's just so all it is. It, it doesn't like, um, there's no baking powder in it. So it keeps its shape. It's going to bake just like this. That's so cool. Such a versatile cookie. Now I'm going to pop this in the freezer um, for like five minutes. So that it hardens. And as it melts in the oven, it's going to melt gradually, so it's going to keep the, the melt the sugars and the butter together and you just bake it really nice and flaky. Um, it's going to be delicious. So, I have some dough left over on my mat over here. Now, the good thing about this is, I just did something about regular, traditional shortbread cookies. You know, like the rectangular ones with the um, little pricks of fork on the top of it? So, that's what I'm going to do with the rest of this gonna try not to overwork it but I'm gonna cut this out into squares and I'll um, pop it in the freezer and I'll be back to show you what it looks like and I'm basically just gonna pop it in the in the oven at 300 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes you have to keep an eye on this because I, I think sometimes at 15 minutes at least for the Christmas ones I made or little Christmas trees it took about 15 minutes. Sometimes it takes 20 minutes, depending on how thick it is or, you know, stuff. So I also made the um, traditional squares. Um, so I'm going to pop this in the oven for about 15 minutes. And, oops, my towel fell. One and two. Oops, I chipped that one. And so I'm going to put my timer at... minutes and just keep an eye on it so basically I put the cookies on two different kind of platters and you could put your cookies on any kind of platter you have I have this little one um, from the Christmas tree shop so if you want to get one it's about two bucks it's really pretty and it's really inexpensive and you could get like this type of mat from like a, a Michaels like a craft store and so I just place my cookies on it so now I'm just gonna show you a few other way a few other tips of um, decorating a shortbread cookie because it's not so sweet, it goes very well with like jams or chocolate and things like that. So 
I have a little bit of melted chocolate in here. I'm using just a little bit just because it's not a lot of cookies, you know. So, you take your cookies. Now, this is a traditional one I was telling you about. You just dunk it in some chocolate. And there you go. And you could do it either way and just place it on a parchment paper. And it should dry pretty quickly. The other way you could do this would be to use, like I said yes, um, the other time, you could either snip a piping bag or use a Ziploc bag, melt the chocolate, pour it in there, and then snip the end, end of it just a little bit like so. And then you grab your cookie and just drizzle some chocolate on it. Just like so. And that's absolutely stunning. It's it's pretty easy. Now, I do this all the time. You know, with yummy texture, food and chocolate, I do decorate all the time with chocolate. So it might look a little bit simple because I just did it like that. But it takes a little bit of practice. You could do, like, that kind of pattern. You could do at an angle. But the more you practice it, the more easy it's going to be. And you'll be able to do it on a lot more cookies. Um, now, this is filled up. So... I'm not going to do the hot one, but you get the idea. Um, you can grab any of the cookies and just decorate it. Grab another one, this one. Find a little clean spot over here. Like I said, just hold it an angle. Up and down, up and down. And there you go. I wish you all a happy Valentine's Day. And you know before I go, we have to try this. Now, this is an amazing shortbread cookie. Like, look at that. I'm going to break it. It's really, really nice on the inside. It's flaky. So, do you hear the crunch on the outside? Mm, so yummy. <laughs> and it's so delicious. One thing about shortbread cookies, it's not so sweet. Remember, we only use a half a cup of sugar. So, the chocolate really accentuates it very well. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. Once again, my name is Tisha Laya Delaya.